Okay, this is a video of how I use a dial indicator. This is just a cheap dial indicator from Harbor Freight. I've made a simple aluminum bracket that basically, sorry, moving here to use the uh, other extruder mounting hole, the M4 hole that's on the front of the uh, main central cross here. This is on an N2 plus, but this is the same on the uh, N2 and N1. And so the idea is that the tip of the dial indicator is actually below everything where the nozzle and everything is. So what I do is I simply use the LCD screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to utilities and I'm going to raise the bed up, but I'm not actually going to home the bed all the way up. Here we go ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually go in here. Here, I want to move the bed to its origin. So again, I just hit home. I'm going to physically reach in here in a second with my finger. And what I want to do is, see I'm going to hit the limit switch here by hand because I just want to stop it by hand. I could move it up using uh, jog mode and just going in millimeters, but it takes a little bit of time. Uh, so this is a little easier. And all I'm going to do is just hit this switch. Okay. Now, remember on homing, what it does is it hits it and then it backs off. So I'm going to let it inch up here slow. And if you see my Z rods, they're still turning very slowly here. And I'm going to wait until... I actually make contact, but again, the nozzle, the key here is the nozzle is not making contact. Okay. So I have the dial indicator now. The plunger moves and is hitting the bed. So now what I want to do, now that, now that the Z-axis is stopped, it's no longer moving, then on the front of the dial indicator, wherever the needle shows up at, you can actually turn the outer ring I'm going to set that to zero. Then, as I move the dial indicator, now you're not going to move the head to all positions on the bed, but I typically do the far four corners. And sorry, this is hard to see. It's kind of dark here. But again, it, that's still at zero. I set zero in the center. So see, I'm here at zero in the center. I go to the back left. I'm still at zero. I go to the back right. Still at zero. I move here to the front. Still at zero. So again, no matter where I move at on my bed, this is perfectly leveled. Um, this can get you a lot better feel than what the typical paper will. Um, but again, you have to buy the uh, the the uh, dial indicator and then make. It's just a simple aluminum bracket. I just drilled a couple holes, bent it with some pliers. Uh, nothing spectacular. Although we could make a 3D printable one, I just haven't uh, taken the time to design one because this aluminum bracket works so easily.